your showing being either slightly less than you anticipated? Look, it's a, it's a, it's a concern. Uh, first morning to the viewers uh, at home. It's a concern, the issue of the, the voter turnout, because the issue of voting, it's a, it's, a, it's a right that South Africans, they must never take it lightly. Because if you're giving up on voting, on choosing who must lead uh, you as a, as a citizen of this country, basically are giving up on South Africa as a, as a, as a country, and we cannot, we, we cannot do that. But in terms of our own performance, it's still early days. We don't want to enter into that space because we can only speak on, uh, on, on facts and what we have received. Most of the voting stations are not in, especially in the areas where we knew that we put a lot of work. Uh, they, they've, not, they've not arrived. So it's still early days. We wouldn't want to go into it in terms of how we're going to perform and how it's going to affect us. But in overall, uh, it, it is a concerning issue that South Africans, they, they are losing interest in terms of choosing who is supposed to lead their country. And we don't think that is right. What do you attribute that to, that South Africans are not enthusiastic enough, in fact, probably South Africans are just flat out tired of the false promises and the lavish life, politicians living large on the backs of their votes. Look, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't think uh, that is the case. So a lot of issues, especially now knowing that we went to this election uh, during the, the pandemic and there were a lot of uh, issues and unhappiness with our people millions of them uh, they were unemployed and they continue even that number kept on incre in increasing even the time to prepare and some and it's still not even safe for people to come to the parliament but we'll do a detailed analysis in the eff because ours is not just to speak on speculation we'll have to get the actual detail from province to province because the province they don't compare the rural and urban they don't compare we need to get to the detail on what is happening so that as leaders we don't just speak uh, out of uninformed information and speculation. We need to, to, to get to that information. What are the real issues? Why the people that didn't come out uh, 2016, well, about 50% uh, now who are sitting at about 30% uh, in terms of the voter turnout. So Let me ask you to put your that. head on the block. I'm sorry yes. to interrupt you. Let me ask you to put your head on the block. In 2016, you amassed a large number of votes, which is why you became a kingmaker in many of the metros, for example. This time around, what do you anticipate to happen? Are you, do you think you're going to still sit in that position of being kingmaker? Or, realistically speaking, do you think you can actually take over a metro? No, we're going all the way. Here in Tawane, the results, as you can see, they are not done. We're still going all the way. That was our, uh, that is our, our What does going all the way mean? To take over the municipality. We want the municipality of Tawane to go back. We have put our biggest fight. They were going for it. At Tewini, the results are not out. Even now, in the areas of Nanda, the communities are even moving towards voting stations because they don't want to declare results. But we are patiently waiting so that we can be informed. So we're still confident that by the end of the day, uh, uh, today, you would see a lot of that uh, result but, uh, turning towards our favor. So our, our numbers are still coming. In Gauteng, the Action SA party led by Hemen Mashaba is being seen as possibly causing a major upset. And they may likely be uh, kingmakers, some people say. Will that disappoint you that instead of making even further inroads with the ANC at its weakest, you now have a new player which in all likelihood will tip you at, uh, at the position that you probably no, will have come close to. No, we're not going to. Uh, the, the, we saw those results of uh, Action ASA last night. I think th things have changed now. Uh, our numbers are starting to come in. So we're not panicking about them. Uh, once the results they come in, remember even in 2016, uh, it's only when our results started coming in uh, a bit late that's when people they started realizing our, our, our effort. Even in 2016, things when they started earlier on, our numbers were not there. Uh, when we went halfway, that's when our numbers were coming in. So we're not uh, worried about Action ASA. We're not even thinking about them. Ours is to make sure that uh, the ANC in Joburg, the, the majority, that's the majority that we're going for. Mm -hmm. uh, Action ASA, it's not even our issue. We're not thinking about them as we speak now. As I mentioned, the ANC at its weakest and probably having had to